trouble started when members of the Labor Union Task Force arrived the Mega Petrol Station to enforce compliance of the strike. The directive was countered by the policeman who was one of the security personnel on the ground. The situation almost degenerated into a fracas, save for the diplomatic effort of other policemen and some top members of the NLC and TUC. However, most of the banks were under lock, while public schools and the state secretariat were devoid of activities owing to the strike. Edo State NLC Chairman Odion Olayo says the compliance level is total as there is no going back until the federal government and other stakeholders meet their demands. At the day two of the nationwide strike in Edo State, there is compliance. Commenting on the effect of the strike on the citizen, illegal practitioner Godwin Oyekina says despite negative effect of the strike, assaulting the leader of a labor union is uncalled for. He advised the federal government to render on the reserve apology, redeploy and sanction the police commissioner allegedly involved in the assault. The government should, as a matter of urgency, invite them, people involved, should be made to pay for their impunity. A member of the Professional Woods Works Association of Nigeria, Edo State Branch, John Sin, John Bull Igbinosu, and a political activist, Samuel Eigato, say the strike was unnecessary as the labor unions cannot hold the country to ransom on account of assault method on an individual. How many Nigerians have died for hunger? Is the labor president more important than Nigerians? Nigerians are hungry. It's a coin of a double face. It is regrettable. It is disappointing that for the common purpose of a man, you are putting millions of Nigerians in distress. NSC and TUC with affiliate bodies like Pegasin, electricity workers, aviation workers, among others, have vowed not to call off the strike until government does the needful. A full ITV News.